Namaste. Welcome to the next video of Machine Learning Practice Course. In this video, we'll discuss about boosting techniques as implemented in sklearn. There are two boosting estimators, ADA Boost Estimator and Gradient Boosting Estimator that are, our, that are of our interest as far as this course is concerned. ADA Boost Estimators, there are two of them. One is ADA Boost Classifier and ADA Boost Regressor and they are implemented as part of sklearn.ensemble module. Adaboost classifier takes base underscore estimator parameter that tells us what kind of estimator we will use to start the boosting procedure. The default estimator is decision tree classifier with depth equal to 1. Then there is parameter called n underscore estimators that that provides the maximum number of estimators where boosting is terminated. The default value is 50. And then there is a learning rate which specifies the weight to be applied to each classifier during the boosting. Higher value for learning rate would increase the contribution of individual classifiers. There is a trade-off between n underscore estimators parameter and learning underscore rate parameter. Let's look at Adaboost Regressor. It also has a base estimator and the default base estimator is decision tree regressor with depth equal to 3. Number of estimators are set to default value of 50 and they specify the maximum number of estimators where the boosting will be terminated. Then learning rate which is weight applied to each regressor, higher value here will increase contribution of individual regressor and there is a trade-off between n estimators and learning rate. There are a couple of parameters that we can tune to obtain good results in case of Adaboost estimators. One is the number of estimators and second is complexity of base estimator where the complexity is defined in terms of the depth of the tree and minimum samples required to split a node. Let's look at attributes of Adaboost estimators. So there is an attribute which is base underscore estimator underscore that provides base estimator of the ensemble. Estimator underscores is a collection of fitted sub-estimators. Then estimator under, underscore weights underscore provides the weights of each estimator in the ensemble and estimator underscore errors underscore provides errors of each estimator in ensemble. Let's look at gradient boosting estimators. There, are, there is a gradient boosting classifier and gradient boosting regressor and there are two important parameters in these estimators again which is number of estimators where the boosting will be terminated and the learning rate. Gradient boosting classifier supports both binary and multi-class classification. And finally there is one more boosting method which is XGBoost which we will demonstrate directly through Colab. So in this video, we look at various boosting estimators in sklearn. So ADA boost and gradient boosting is implemented in sklearn, whereas XGBoost is not directly implemented in sklearn and we'll be implementing XGBoost with some other library. And we'll see that through the Colab demonstration.